Hey guys, welcome back to us always. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. Guys, can we take a moment to like admire my hair real quick? <laughs> I did a good wash yesterday and a lot of you guys were actually requesting me to do like the side part with curls and this is what it looks like. I'm actually living for it. I feel like my hair feels a lot better today. It's not as dry I feel like because I did two washes in one day. Kind of like over dried my hair because I was trying to get rid of like the redness in my scalp. I'm actually living guys. I don't know if I like the curled hair or the straight hair better. Let me know down below. Me and Bar actually headed to LA, which we are almost there. We are like 10 minutes out, so that's why we're picking you guys up right now to kind of give you guys the rundown the of what we are doing. So we actually got invited to a CLD event, which is like a PR gifting event, and it's pretty cool. I've never been to one of these, but I kind of looked into it, and they have like a whole bunch of brands, and they're gonna have like gifting sites at a rooftop, so it's gonna be pretty dope. They're gonna have like some little appetizers some drinks and a whole bunch of like pr gifting goodies. goodies yeah so i'm excited i've never been to one of these i'm actually like really really excited it's actually located in downtown la so as you guys know driving to downtown la there's like so what much freaking traffic we're gonna go ahead and take you guys along with us and let's see what it's about i did have to mark an appointment time i think it's like a barbie core experience so i don't know if it was like a barbie theme but i did actually go with like some little pink vibes not the barbie pink vibes but like little baby pink vibes which i'll show you guys my outfit right now when we get off i did kind of accentuate with pink um vibes and i also did like a like pink eyeshadow sometimes driving from bakersfield is kind of tedious just because we don't know if we're gonna get like bad traffic no traffic or minimal traffic either way it's gonna be fun we're gonna take you guys along with us so let's see what this event is about all right guys so we just got in and we checked in so we started off with a little cute pink bag that they're gifting and then it's summer in the city 2023 so basically these are all the brands that are here guys that are gonna be doing gifting so i'm excited these are hella brands. Yeah, this is hella. Yeah. Are you excited babe for free stuff? Yeah, for you. <laughs> this is cute. So it is Barbie. The little walkway. Mm -hmm. no, oh, show me outfit, babe. I put on a white dress and then I put on my J's that have pink and then I tied it in with my Mark Jacobs pink bag. <laughs> what are you working with, babe? You wear pink too. Look at your hat. Yeah, pink right there. Oh, it's pink right here. See? I got a little Barbie action going on. We're gonna try to record as much as we can, but there is music going, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. This is so cute. <laughs>
god, this was actually really fun. That was cool. It, it was, cool huh? Experience. I don't think it was. Somewhere they give you like legit all free shit on. Yeah, and I guess they have this often, so it was dope. I'm actually honored that I got even invited to go to something like this. Big shout out, thank you CLD for having us. And yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and walk up to our car. We'll have to show you guys like the goodies and stuff, maybe on my channel. If I sit down and do like a PR unboxing and showing you guys everything for now guys we're gonna go to the car and we're going to figure out what to eat we have yet to eat so we're gonna figure out what to eat we are in downtown LA so we might have to drive a little while to get out of, get out of the city or downtown sorry I thank God that I decided to change my appointment times so I guess they have like appointment slots so that not like too many people come at once but it's like an all day event. the time was like 5 o'clock. No, it was 4. Thank God I switched it to 10 in the morning. So that's what I thought was like the Barbie core experience was like you going and like getting like a whole bunch of PR. They probably just changed the theme. Like this one was Barbie, the next one's probably going to be something else. I'm like happy I actually got like to experience this. This is so cool. But yeah, guys, like I said, we're going to go figure out what the hell we're going to go eat. Big shout out to CLD again for having us. This was definitely an experience. Truly grateful. But yeah, shout out to them. We're going to go ahead and figure out what the hell we're going to go eat. Because I need some food in my system. It's already 11.30 and I have yet to have anything but water in my system. So at this point, I'm fasting, guys. <laughs> Intermediate fasting. But yeah, we'll meet you guys at our eating spot once we decide where we're going. Best place to eat in Santa Clarita called Esmeraldas. Where are you going, babe, Tori? You're going to the bar section. Okay, Trying to get a brewski already or what? Yeah, I'm gonna get a kitchen That's right. All right, guys, it's been a while since I've had bacon wrapped shrimp. He had mentioned it and he said it's delicious. <laughs> you have bacon wrapped shrimp. When? In your pants. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dang, you got jokes today, man. Huh? <laughs> that was so funny, I started crying. <laughs> that was a good one, I'll give you that one. I'll give I'm you always one. so funny. I'm always cracking jokes. It's okay, it's a joke though. Right? <laughs> like there's times that late at night I'll be cracking a joke and then uh, both hey, times. No, when she's lit, uh hell another level. Thank you. She's like on a whole nother level, huh baby? I'm so funny, huh? People don't really get to see the funny side of me. I've been telling when you do that a lit video because that shit's hella funny. Alright guys, so this is what I'm working with. A shrimp? Minus the bacon. <laughs> All the bacon. <laughs> I'll leave that for Bo. I got that with chiles, it normally comes with just the green sauce, I but think this that red sauce, sauce is the chili pepin, whatever. It's so fire. Yes. Chili pepin or something? Yeah. Alright, guys, the food. Oh, oh, damn, babe. It was yellow. Oh, guys, I'm so freaking stuffed. We're gonna head home. We have about an hour and a half of a drive, so we'll go ahead and catch you guys at home. Alright, guys, so swim, we're back at play. home. We waited till the sun went down because it's too damn hot to come outside. So hot. And we have like no shade in our backyard. Yeah, we have like a couple sticks for palm trees, <laughs> but it don't get no shade. So the pool's like direct sun all day except for the little umbrella, which is right here. I think it's like 8 o'clock or 7 30. Let me see. Yeah, it's actually 8 o'clock at night and it's so. Right outside still, so the kids want to come swimming. So we're gonna let the kids jump in the bin pool for a little bit. Damien, you gonna do a trick or what? Damien's actually really crazy. He could do like flips and all kinds of stuff. I left them in there by accident. You better get it. Let me see. Is it warm? Is it cold? I know. Is it? I know. Feel it. Just put your hand in. Damien said the pool's cold. No, it's not that clear. Dayden. Sure, you say you can swim in the big pool now? Yeah, sure. Let me see. She can, I can swim like right there to the steps. Let me see. I forgot the gardener just came, huh? He came on Monday. That's why we have grass in there. Serena's getting so good at swimming. She was in the big pool the other day. Let's see. Let's see what you can do. What are you doing? Whoa, you swim like a mermaid. Yeah. I can swim that. She swims like a little mermaid. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Let me see. I got a race. Let me see. Zayden, come here, puppy. Vente. Daddy. 
Daddy, I swim all the way to the bottom to show how long I take. Go. Oh. I like your goggles, Mama. Thank you. How long can you hold your breath? You won, Mama. No, we, no, we have to start over. I thought she was on the second one. What the freak? That's so unfair. Look at how she died. Perfect dive, Mama. <laughs> five seconds. Guys, why did I jump? You think I could be five seconds? I don't know, go. Ready? Okay. Wait, do it again. Go, go run in the pool. Mommy, wanna watch me touch the ground? Mom. Go. Back, please. Daddy, did you see me do a backflip? Got it. This is crazy. What does he want? His water gun? Daddy. Good morning guys, so it has been a couple days later and today is the day that I do go back to LA to get my porcelain fillings put in. I've been waiting for this moment but low key like I'm so nervous just because the last time I swear I was having a panic attack. I almost felt like I was going to pass out just because I was freaking myself out. I don't like needles, I know it's weird to say but... You know, like, I know I have tattoos, but I feel like those needles are a lot different from, like, when they're injecting something or, you know, drawing blood just because those needles do go in a little bit deeper. It's just I can't see the needle. Once I see the needle, like, I start to freak out. Even when I get, like, my Botox and, like, lip fillers, like, I can't see it. Like, I'm always closing my eyes just because, like, I will freak out. But even then... Those needles go in so superficially, like they're not so deep. <sighs> but when I go to like do the nummy, this bottom and like top, like I don't know why, but it like hurts so bad. So I'm already trying to not freak myself out, but I know it's coming just because of the last time. <laughs> I was even texting balls like, babe, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I did my hair and a half up, half down. I feel weird just because I'm so used to like so much volume. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head out to L.A. Me and Bo are going to just basically go and come back. And yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm a little nervous, but I'm actually really excited because this time around, um, when they drilled out my teeth and put, like, my temporary fillings in, I had a rough first week, guys. Like, a rough first week, Me, Like, I couldn't eat a lot of shit. Everything oh, irritated. Yeah, I had toothaches for like literally a whole week. I had to live off like ibuprofen and Tylenol, so it was kind of bad. So I'm just really excited to get like my permanent like porcelain fillings put in because I want to be able to eat like what I want. I want to eat my takis and all that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll fill y'all in. We have a two hour drive, guys. All right, guys, so I just got done at the dentist and uh my bottom lip didn't really get as numb as my top. My top's like super freaking numb. But I'm just glad that I have my porcelain fillings in because like I said, like the first week was like horrible and I had to like kind of watch what I eat and all that. So now we have no restrictions, guys. So I'm excited and happy. Big shout out to Dr. Neil for always keeping my smile on point. But all right, guys, we're going to see what we get into right now. So we'll pick y'all oh, up shit. once we decide. What? All right, guys, so it's time to eat. And we came to a place called Lonzo's. We vlogged here before um, when Bo was like in his little like Peruvian era. Well, I think we haven't ate here in like in a year or two. Longer, babe. It's been a while. We haven't ate here in a while. But it's been a long time. Some bomb-ass Peruvian food, so we're going to go 
ahead and see how good it is still, if it's still the same as it used to be. But we'll see if the food still holds up to its name. I'm excited. No, I am too. So we'll see you guys inside. So we actually sat down outside. It's actually a really pretty day today, Javi. Yeah, it's, like it's like really bad. nice. It's well, like it's chilly. Well, it's not chilly, but it's like fresh. There's a breeze going. They just propped up the umbrella to like block the sun. But it's actually really nice outside today. I'm not going to rush. Sure they do. Yeah, guys, so we're gonna get to ordering. I for sure know I want the ceviche. I always get the ceviche mixto with no fish. I'm not really like a raw fish girl. Um, I don't know if I should just give it a try. Yeah, I eat it as amas, so maybe I'll just get it like as is. And I did see that they have uh, like a type of oysters. So I don't know if I want to try that too, but I look you want some of the Peruvian pesto. Like the green um, pasta, that shit's fire. Well, nobody gets up. I don't know what he's gonna get today. I'm gonna get that with chicken. Because the lomo saltado is like really bomb, but I feel like last night for dinner we just had like a soy sauce, like beef, you know. So I kind of don't want to eat that. But we'll show you guys the food right now when it gets here. All right, guys. So the complimentary sauce and bread. This is so freaking good. Like this sauce is like almost like a serrano sauce. It's not too spicy, but it has really good flavor when you like dip it. I'm gonna give it a little taste test, babe. Yeah. All right, guys, it's giving it a little taste test. We already gave it a little taste test for Snapchat. So hey, um, we've actually been really active on Snapchat, so if you guys haven't already like followed us on Snapchat, go ahead and do so. Post it all day on Snapchat now. Yeah, follow us on Snapchat. I'll go ahead and leave our QR codes right here, guys. Go support us. Go follow us on Snapchat. Hey, but this is fire. Look at this vlog, right? The sauce is so bad. Alright guys, here's the city Chimitzo. Has some hominy. They never had the fried shrimp before, that was bomb. No, it's new, huh? I'm excited. Some pistachios, Fresno chile. Ooh, some onion. One thing I'm not a fan of is the seaweed. But everything else, fire. What's the seaweed? That's seaweed. Oh, <laughs> that's just for like looks though. That's just a garnish. No, people eat it. Yeah, maybe. People even eat the, the little flower. Eat it. Nope. All right, guys. Got some octopus with hey, the bread. What is that? Oh. It's a piece of bread. That's just, it's hard. It's bomb though. Hey, try the, bone try the little purple sauce. That's just bomb. I'm still about to with the shrimp. That's just so good. It's bomb. Let me see the green one. Mmm. Well, the green one's that one. But the purple one's bomb too. All right, guys. The pesto chicken. Look how freaking fiery that looks. I am a little bit nervous to try the oysters because. This isn't the average oysters we normally eat, but it looks good. I'm a little nervous, so we gonna go first. It looks like a lot. Oh, they I'm even scared. Gave me, they even gave you the red sauce. I'm already getting full. We ordered too much food. I didn't know Bo got the octopus. Yeah, that was good. Great. <coughs> this is what it looks like. Right. How'd you eat it? Well, I swallowed the oyster. Would you put the ricotta? I mean the I the it. spicy sauce. I could, I could <laughs> you like the chill sauce? That's why. I'm nervous. Telephone. Good, huh? Scared. Oh, so all this is just onion? Yeah, it's just a bit of it. That's pretty good. Oh, really? I was a little nervous. Just overthinking it. Yeah. I think this is what scared me because I didn't know what all this was, but it's just a whole bunch of onion. Oh my god, guys, we just ate too much food. I'm so full. Yeah. We had a whole feast. We had the oysters, the ceviche, the pasta, and then the octopus. Oh, I'm such in a food coma right now. I'm looking at a ticket. It's 
like three parts. I'm so full. Did I feel like literally knock out. Well, we have to go charge right now, so it might take a little power nap. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good thing about Tesla. So when you charge, you always got at least like 30, 40 minutes. So take a nap. Yeah, so we're going to check out here, guys, and then head to the Tesla charging station. So, yeah. We'll meet you a bit. Okay guys, so it has been a few days later yeah. and you know what, we haven't even been closing out the video like for the last couple videos and we low-key miss it because we just got so busy and got so like ahead in videos. So today's the day that we finally close out a video. I think it's been like a week, huh? It's been like a week. Honestly, I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a yeah, so more videos to come, guys. We have the lake video that we did vlog for you guys, so that'll be the next video, and it's going to be so much fun. We haven't done a whole lake on a boat, jet ski, all that in quite some time, so tune in for the next video. But this concludes today's video, guys. Sorry, it was like all over the place. It was like literally like mixes of days kind of just like gapped out. If you haven't already shot Maria Stella Fashion, make sure to do so guys. We're still having a bubble sale, meaning you buy one, you get one free. No code needed. You just add everything to your bag and once you see it in your bag, you will see it like kind of just self-generate and all that. So yeah, no code needed guys. Take advantage of the sale, bubble sale, and you can go ahead and shop MariaStellaFashion.com. Also listed down below in the description for y'all. Also too, if you haven't already followed all social medias, our house are listed down below. But before we do completely end today's video, our post notification shout out goes to Jose Enrique Gomez. Shout out to you. And if you guys do want a future post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, turn post notification, hit the little bell, bing, and come show us a love. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys in our next video. As always. Hey, look. We was doing good, now we're doing better. This love I got for you too much, I can't measure. New cars, new crib, we look good together It's us always, but I'm thinking that's forever Girl, you got what I need Bracing for your love, I'm going high speed I can put you on, can play for my team Once you get a taste, you tell me don't